So yes. You should be able to just control it with the pedal. Wow. Yeah. That's it. You can do me. <laughs> This is wild. <laughs> I get it now. I get it. Okay, so we're good to go, right? Yep. Okay, because oh I've God. been avoiding learning about this. It's been all over the internet, and I've seen a bunch of photos. I went to the video, looked down at the comments, saw the first comment, and then immediately stopped it. Every single comment on the main <laughs> video is, you have to get this in Rob Scalatown. You have to get it. But yeah, once I saw that comment, I stopped immediately, and I didn't want to learn anything else until I had it in my hands. This is a genuine reaction of this guitar. Yes. I might not be able to play it. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> you probably want to like sign a... So if you get hurt, it doesn't... Oh, really? Yeah. All right, let's open it. We ready? It took six months to make this. Whoa, really? Yeah, but I'm not that efficient, so it's what really... That... <laughs> Whoa. It looks like something that, like if Batman was in a band. <laughs> yeah. Every part of this is like custom made. It's all plastic though. 3D printer. Whoa. Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> what is the belt for? Uh, I can't say. Okay, okay. On this right. side is fretless. Was oh, that the idea that you can go from like fretless to fretted to bass? Actually, what happened was that this guy, Adam D'Amato, who is an engineer that lives outside of Chicago, he just really? hit me up on Discord and he was like spinning guitar neck. <laughs> At first I was like, Nah, that's not interesting. But then I saw your video with the spinning glass balls that break, mm -hmm. and I could see the thumbnail in my head. Yeah. So this guitar is made for the thumbnail. Wow. Let's get it plugged in. Where do you plug this in? Oh, just here, of course. Yeah. Where's the volume knob? There's, there isn't one. It just, there, you it's, just don't have a choice. It's just too hard to implement. Give me some distortion. Does it beat like a guitar? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. <laughs> Is it like two guitar? Yeah, I okay. actually wanted to ask you about this because we don't know what to do. To. There's so many strings. How many yeah. strings is on this? 18. Nine guitar yeah. strings. Mm -hmm. And I guess the two in the bottoms, I just didn't know what to tune them to. Oh, so these are both D, e. D. Oh, and this is A. Okay. I've never been able to sweep pick like this before. Yeah, I wonder if you can do that sweep pick. How do we turn off the noise gate on this, Rob? I think it's just noise. <laughs> I think we need to tune it. Frets is a bit too high, so if you press too hard, you actually detune it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You tune it with these little things over here, which makes sense because you can get these like individually. Have you noticed uh, anything about the frets? No, is it wood? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I thought it would be terrible, but actually, it works kind of oh, yeah. good. Open tuning is kind of cool. Maybe I'll go like drop D. Yeah. Ooh, this is like an open tuning machine. That should be a standard bass, I think. Yeah. No guitar luthier was interested in the idea because they just <laughs> thought it wasn't possible to make it. Mm. I'm not sure if it was a good idea to make it. It's like a nice party trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Jessica, could I get a beat? <laughs> oh, 
like, okay, that, that, was, was, that was entirely terrible. I'm genuinely surprised how much the drums yeah. does to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, like yeah. That. That's the trick. Like if you have like a really awesome rhythm section. Yeah. I gotta tune this thing again. Strings on both sides. So you tune one string and yeah. you tune it on the other side. <laughs> This is the most intense, like, barring that you could possibly do. I want to find something that I specifically need to spin this to be able to do. Kind of has a cool effect. Yeah. Do you know, like, right when you start playing guitar and you're yeah. like, I can't get to the right string. And here, like, even if this is stationary, there's this new, like... You actually don't see the fretboard over yes. the curvature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only have access to like two strings at once with mm. the picking on mm. without rotating it. Yeah. I'm trying to like be accurate. My God. Do you see how it scoops in? Yeah, yeah. We scooped out the actual design of the fretboard to make mm. sure that the outer perimeter of all the strings oh, is in level. Yeah. So if you spin it, you get the smooth strum. Once you get to the bass, it's just that, that's a... Oh, this is kind of cool though. Yeah. Is that what this thing, could we turn on, that has a motor? Yeah, you know that? Can we turn the motor on? Yeah. I, think I need that's to mount like... it first. Maybe 10 minutes to mount the motor. Then maybe we do another jam. When I finished this, I was like, I hate this. <laughs> and I was <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I wish I just did more like a 12 string guitar. It yeah. all just kind of sounds good together. But it was yeah. way too late when yeah. I realized that. And also, since I don't play bass, I don't know if the bass sucks or not. Now I know it sucks. That it just <laughs> needs <laughs> I got a drum beat. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, it's so hard to play. Because it's moving. Yeah. How about uh, the motor fixes that? Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can if I can do it. Now I'm just trying to play it like a bass. Normally I, I slap down and then it rests on the next string, but now it's moving. Does the fretless actually work? The fret? Yeah. It feels like a fretless? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's kind of cool. Man, I just can't find a practical reason to do this. No, there's no practical yeah. <laughs> reason. Everything I go to is just like, just treat it like a regular guitar, but that's not... Like you're not able to incorporate the, the spinny. feature that makes it unique, right? Exactly. Like... Let's get the motor on there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Should I do? Yeah, go for it. Speaking of motorized spinning vehicles, I gotta do some wrenching on mine. Welcome to my garage, AKA Man Cave, AKA sponsor segment. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I know a thing or two about being a big, tough guy. And let me tell you, being tough and strong means asking for help when you need it, not you being weak. Honestly, the last few years for me have been kind of rough, and therapy has really been there for me. I can't imagine my life without it now. Therapy rules. And BetterHelp was actually the first time I tried therapy. And it's because they made it really easy. I just filled out a questionnaire, got matched with a therapist, and the next thing I knew, I was just off to the races. And you know what? I think in hindsight, a big reason why I didn't want to try therapy was probably some toxic masculinity silliness. But let's just get rid of that. Asking for help is you being strong. So if you're struggling, I really recommend for you to give therapy an honest try. I know it's been a huge, huge help for me. And BetterHelp makes it easy to get started. You can go to betterhelp.com slash robscallon or select robscallon at checkout to get a special rate off your first month. <laughs> Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to engineering pure silliness. Like, I, I can't predict what it's gonna do. <laughs> Nor can I. No, I don't. <laughs> this is the foot switcher, and this is 
the most commented idea. And in theory, this controls the position. So you have the mm -hmm. upper part of the guitar, oh. lower part, fretless bass, bass, and speed mode. Oh, so this okay. makes it controlled by the foot pedal. Oh, if you so just I want it to spin. I'm having trouble like finding a reason for it to spin. Maybe that would be a practical, you know, like if you're at a gig and you want to switch to bass, <laughs> but you only have enough room in your car for one yeah, guitar maybe. Oh, and the slide, because uh, that allows you to actually yeah. play notes as it spins, because mm. you kind of float over. Yeah. So when you were building it, did you have a theory on what it would do? How do you mean? Like, if I build this guitar with a spinning neck, it will accomplish this. <laughs> <laughs> A good thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> that was the YouTube. To, to be completely yeah. honest, it's yeah. the YouTube mindset. This yeah. looks so freaking dangerous, dude. The hardest part with this is actually the electronics. Mm. This thing is spinning mm -hmm. with the electronics. The balance of this thing. The bass strings is way heavier on this side. Yeah. So inside this, we have weights on one side. Otherwise, it would just wow. land like this all the time. The bass strings look so cool, though. If right. we're going like for the thumbnail, bass strings. But it does make it all also a lot harder to write for too. I did a A-B test on the yeah. thumbnails. I had one thumbnail that was identical with the bass side uh -huh. and one that was guitar. Yeah. And the one with bass significantly got more like, Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, uh, I didn't know that. That yeah. makes sense to me, yeah. <laughs> you like do a major surgery on this <laughs> thing. I like that uh, you have a first aid kit. Yeah. Like, do you ever have moments where you're like, how did I end up here? <laughs> All the time. Yeah. The engineering is fun. Oh yeah. 1% of the time. <laughs> okay, it looks pretty good. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> we want this to the left yeah. foot. This just feels like infinite tuning. It just never stops. <laughs> oh, oh geez. Yeah, because it's a slide that's straight and this is curved. You can only get two strings at a time. I couldn't find a curved slide. <laughs> yeah. as a guitar, right, right. a really weird guitar. All right, let's get it spinning. Okay. Okay. Let's pray to yeah. something. Yeah, try plugging it in. Okay, it's glowing. Please don't disappoint me. <laughs> oh, so yes. you should be able to just control it with a pedal. Wow. Yeah. stalling that much? It's stalling a lot. Oh yeah, it's weak now. Yeah. Oh, it's really hard to like figure out how to play it too. Like how to hold it? Yeah, like how to hold it.
stopped. Oh, oh maybe shit. it needs more speed. Oh, it stopped going. Uh oh. What did I do? I have no idea. Did I do something wrong. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. There yeah. it is. Jessica, want to do a classic? <laughs> You can't change notes that quickly because if you do, that string is now over here. Unless you mute all the other strings. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, uh, how do I change it to distortion with the, I, distortion's gonna be a nightmare. Oh yeah, here we go. I mean, it sounds the same, just worse. Distortion is the right call. Do you need more torque on it? Yeah. Is it yeah. too weak? Because, because we could try weak? overclocking it. Over to make it go faster? To make it stronger. Oh yeah. Feel any is it stronger? Is it yes. 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 It sets the tempo. It might be a bit like the American electric. Oh is yeah, it our enough? electricity is different. I feel like it's a bit weaker than it's usually. Mm, yeah, our electricity is a lot weaker than yours. We have power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> That's the... So here you got the guitar, other guitar, bass, and fretless. Okay, okay. Yeah, give me, give me the guitar. I guess if you're just like really afraid of big fretboards, you know, like uh, an eight string or a nine string really scares you, but you're like, I like the fretboard to be small and it could just move for me. I bet that you could hammer on with a thumb the bass yep. line as you play in the front. Yep. It's probably like peak uh, 5D guitar player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. found out that it was your birthday today. <laughs> no way. And then, yeah. So today is your 27th birthday. I also hear that the birthday song is copyrighted. Uh-oh. Is that true? Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of moving it around. 
Oh, Go, yeah. oh dude, going one straight feels really cool. You, you're getting some help because yeah. now you have the motor slightly breaking for you. Yeah. So I want to get behind the kit? It feels really satisfying. It's really, really hard to have the slap and move you to the next string. <laughs> yeah, I got it that time. I can continue putting it in different tunings and we can see what we can get out of it. same string. We had to have one Midwest emo-ish jam oh, in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if we're not going to go into FAC GCE tuning, uh -huh. are we even filming together? Exactly. Are we even making a video? <laughs>
You have my a channel, channel where you do things. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks for bringing this in. No problem. You can subscribe Never. to Matias for more crazy instruments, particularly pianos with water in them. And, and milk spiders. Yeah, and, and milking spiders, spiders apparently. apparently. You can subscribe here. I'm sure this isn't the last time you can do something like this. Thanks again. <laughs> cool. Hey! Hey, let's have some cake. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's unexpected. Mm. Be like, and then they ate cake. That's right. Yeah. That's good cake. Ha ha ha!